All right guys, so here is my quarantine tank. This is a standard Petco 29 gallon tank that I bought. It was a dollar a gallon, so it came out to about $30 plus tax. So I am just keeping this simple and uh, I've been having this tank running like this for about a month and a half now. And I have about another two months to go. But basically my setup is pretty simplified. I have just a sponge filter here with um, airline to it and uh, normally I run two just in case this airline pop, uh, pops out because that happens quite often uh, but this time around I'm watching it every day so uh, if it did pop out I would be able to plug it right back in but I did have to put this sponge filter in my main tank <clears throat> so that uh, beneficial bacteria can colonize on it before I came and set up this QT tank. Um, I am running two heaters just in case and this setup is in the garage so it does get sometimes it gets uh, cold gets down to about the 60s um, so I have two heaters going on um, I think this Eheim one is about 75 watts and this one here I forget it's probably around 100 watts um, and then I'm running just a regular eBay light here. It's an LED light. And I have these bags here just to cover the top to make sure they don't jump. But uh, I have a few fishes in here. I have this Blondie Naso Tang. I have this Spotted Tang over here. Bristle Tooth Spotted Tang. And also the Shoulder or Orange Shoulder Tang. And then uh, I have the Six Line Rass here. And I have a few of the chromies, which I'm going to get rid of. Um, I also have this indicator right here by Seachems to make sure my ammonia is not too high. Um, I do do water changes every three to four days. Um, the other thing here is I do run... Well, here's a... Here's a here's my little uh, thermometer here but I do have an air pump there that's running and I'm only running this one's got two ports and I'm running one side of it and I have a backup one just in case something goes wrong and then I have my timer for my light so that I don't have to keep plugging it in and unplugging the light at nighttime but I do run on a simple system. I run API uh, Furan, Furan 2 to treat bacteria and fish disease. And I do this for the first two weeks. And then afterwards, I do put some of this stuff. Um, I use the Coopermine to treat it. And I do uh, run that for about three to four weeks. Uh, and then I use the Salifer copper tester to test the uh, copper content or the copper level within my QT tank. So the copper is in the system for about a month and then afterwards uh, I do a big water change and I let the system run that way until I transfer the fish back into the main tank. But I haven't done much with the main tank. I've been letting it sit follow for about a month and a half now and I have about another two weeks before I can put these fishes back in but so far uh, they did have some ick but so far they look pretty clean now but anyhow this is my quick simple QT setup if you're looking for some equipments um, or if you want to use you know what I have here and keep it as simple as possible check out the description below and I'll put links to the equipments that I'm using for this QT setup. But uh, anyways, thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Uh, if you can, like and subscribe and follow me on this journey. Thanks, guys.